I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. In this case, um, I'm looking at the character Brand Shay, who is operating a small booth in the town of Riften in the Market Square. He's a dark elf who was raised as an Argonian. And he asks you to find a book that would validate him and his um, heritage. Also, he's the guy, if you join the Thieves Guild, whom you set up for, um, how shall I say, being arrested, which kind of sucks. So that's why I'm doing this quest before I join the Thieves Guild. So let's get on with Branche's quest. I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Thank you. I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvani had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. Records showed her barring passage aboard a sailing vessel named the Pride of Telvos, but that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. Now you can go to the world map after adding locate clue to Branshade's past to your quest tree. And you will see the location of the quest being given up, oh, not that one, right here. And so you have to fast travel to the closest part unless you actually have explored out this area of Skyrim. It's a wreck. And you don't need water breathing, but you're going to have to get there and walk from Journeyman's Nook, which is the closest one. And I will fast forward to the uh, location because you've already seen the dragon battle that I go through. After the battles, I'm continuing on to the main location, and I'm going to have to slide down the side of the mountain on the using just, you can slide down the side of a mountain. Now this is an unmarked location. This is a chest, and I will show the location on the map once I've opened up the chest, etc. There's all kinds of these things scattered around Skyrim. That's why exploring some of the little nooks and crannies and unmarked caves you find are important because you'll find hidden chests and other things all over the place. Now this location on the map, it's in a cav crevice here and no way out except through that and it's on the map right here. And you got to go past Horkers. Uh, they're easy to fight. They only become violent when you attack them. But hey, 
he might as well fight. Corker tusk, corker meat, nah. I'm going to fast forward to the main location of the book for Bran Shay. Once you get to the shipwreck, uh, you're going to encounter some bandits. And they're just kind of stealing stuff from the shipwreck. They're relatively easy to beat. The bandit chieftain is the one who's going to give you the most trouble and the most fight. And after I search everything, I'm go I'm going to go on to the deck of the uh, Pride of Telvos and fight the bandit chieftain here. Lucky. Now, the bandit chieftain is wearing Nordic carved armor. This is actually good heavy armor, and it comes becomes available if you have the Dragonborn quest loaded in, the optional quest, and if you have the Skyrim uh, Master Edition, it's available. Now, the chest containing the main... Um, I guess you could say Master Chest had a decent amount of stuff. And I'm carrying a lot of crap. I'll get rid of the iron armor and see what I can discard that I don't need. Uh, yeah, that's I, because I fought dragons. I'm carrying bones and other stuff. Now, in order to get Branshay's book, you have to swim a little bit underwater. And, well, yeah, it's a little difficult here. So, I'm going to just jump up. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of the water here. Uh, swimming is difficult. So, you can get up out of the water and walk over and find what you need to find. And it's right there. I'm going to fight bandits, though. They're kind of pissed I killed their chief here. I fought worse than you. The bandits are vanquished, and I can go back to looking around and then get Bran Shea's book and bring it back to him. Tanning rack, uh, let's see, yeah, I can cut down the leather into strips, which gives me some less weight here to carry. And then search the barrels, nothing, nothing, yeah. Chest here, novice lock. Yeah, you can still break a pick on a novice lock. That's why you need lots and lots of lock picks until you get your skills high. Skip the shield and let's move on to the final quest item here, which is Branche's book, um, Lindrin, whatever. Now, fast travel to Branche and it's... You look at it and talks about Branche. Fast traveled Branche and give it back to him. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Can I have anything you wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of good. Let me see that. Yes, yes, this is it. I don't know how you found this stranger, but you've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. I really appreciate what you've done for me. Having Branche's key helps you during the joining of the Thieves Guild. You won't get this quest if you join the Thieves Guild and send Branche to prison. 
Well, this is a short one helping out a citizen of Rifton will eventually allow me to buy a house and become Thane, etc. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Feel free to leave comments. I try to respond to all comments. If you like this type of video, I post four a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified when I post videos. And it will help me out. I thank everyone who subscribes. I thank everyone who leaves comments. I thank everyone who likes these videos. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.